Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about in how many ways we can launch the Chrome browser. So, in three ways we can launch the Chrome browser. So, in locally, if you want to work with the Chrome browsers like a Firefox browser, Chrome browser, Internet Explorer driver. So, we have a predefined classes. So, to work with Chrome browser locally, we have a class called Chrome driver. To work with locally with Firefox browser, we have a class called Firefox driver. To work with locally with Internet Explorer, we have a driver called Internet Explorer driver. If you want more clarity, just watch my previous videos, you can get it very easily. Right? Now, in order to launch the Chrome browser, we need to set the path of Chrome driver. So, our Chrome browser is going to be run on top of a Chrome driver. So, first we need to download the Chrome driver. Now, download the Chrome driver. Open google just type here download chrome driver so here it is there if you want you can go to selenium official website so here you can see in selenium official website somewhere you can see here so yes here it is there right so 2.33 so click on windows 32 bit now uh, it will be downloaded it is downloading yeah so already i have this uh, one in my desk i just i saved it in my desktop here it is the one so here it is there just extract that you can see the you can see this one right now see what i'm doing so first what we need to do it set the property set the path where it is so in order to do this we have a predefined class called a system which is from java.lang package it is having one static method called property method so it's always expected two parameters one is key one more is value in the form of string so this method always ask you two parameters that is key and value so here always key is uh, what is that so web driver dot chrome dot driver so where is the path of it so we need to specify the path where that uh, chrome driver is there so in d colon something abc folder in that we are having chrome driver dot exe file so once you specified the path um, now we need to write we need to initialize the what the driver so here i'm writing web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver so like uh, firefox driver in same we can launch the chrome driver in three ways so by using interface reference name, I'm creating object for Chrome driver and then and then by using directly I'm creating service provider class object like a Chrome driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver new Chrome driver and third approach is same compulsory we should write system dot set property for each and every initialization this is a second approach now third approach is by using parent class reference that is by using remote web driver we are initializing the what chrome driver so three we will work out new chrome driver right so let me show it on this eclipse so open eclipse so here let me create one class class uh, chrome test now i'm writing main method now i'm writing first let me create uh, first let me set up the property system dot set property this is key this is the value so without using system dot set property can we launch firefox chrome and ie browsers yes so this um, the path is there, right? Chrome driver.exe path, Firefox driver.exe path, Kco driver.exe, and Internet Explorer driver, IE driver server.exe files. This we need to specify as a part of environmental variables. So whenever we specify as a part of environmental variables, this year it is not required to write system dot set property. We'll see in the coming videos. So web driver dot chrome dot driver. So where is the path of this chrome driver? So specify the path. Copy this path. Let me paste it here. 
now here I'm specifying Chrome driver dot exe. Now I'm writing see here web driver something web driver is equal to new Chrome driver. So here I'm initializing. See here I'm initializing Chrome driver by using web driver reference. And then web driver dot get off https colon double slash www dot facebook.com. Now see here right click run as Java application. Yes, browser is initialized and then Facebook is entered, right? So this is one approach. One approach. Second approach is uh, right. So instead of a driver, you can create direct object for Chrome driver class. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. See here what I meant. So Now see here, let me run it, right click, run as Java application. Yes, now see here, browser is open and then your list entered. And third approach is, by using remote web driver also, we can launch the browser. By using, see here I am creating web Chrome driver object by using remote web driver reference. Remote web driver web driver is equal to new chrome driver new chrome driver now see here with this line also so here i am creating chrome driver object by using remote web driver so remote web driver is a parent class of chrome driver so as we know that by using parent class reference we can create the child class object so with this also we can launch the firefox driver right click run as java application now see here Browser is going to be launched and then it's going to be entered URL. Right. Right. So in total three ways we can launch the browsers. Right. Have you observed whenever we are launching Chrome driver, it is giving, it is running on port number 4298. Right. Yes. So every driver is going to this Chrome driver is going to run on top of some port number. Now see here, let me run this program now. What is the port number it will give? Just observe here. Observe the console. See here, what is the port number? 42760, right? 42760. Now, now see here, run it, right click, run as Java application. So internally, every Chrome driver is going to, that is every Chrome browser is going to run on top of some port number, some port number, right? So more elaborately, we'll talk in the coming videos about Chrome driver class and Firefox driver class and IE driver class, etc. So same Firefox drive, Firefox browser we can launch in three ways as well as Chrome browser also we can launch in three ways, right? Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Thank you so much.